That took less fiddling than I thought it would. That's good. See, I never, I never shaved my head. It's still there. Actually, I did get a haircut yesterday. Hello, Crimson Sun. I'm just setting up and as long as I don't bump the table, I should be good. So, um, this isn't going to be a super long stream, but um, I just wanted to uh, try this because I'm really, really excited about it. Anyway, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Reuse to here, and I'm reporting from Balan Wonderworld to uh, show you this new thing that I got. Um, I got it from... Well, I heard about this on Brian Ams's, Am, Ams's YouTube channel. Uh, uh, this is Bar uh, this is uh, Jeff's Famous Beef Jerky Carolina Reaper flavor. Uh, you can check that out there. Um, looks really, really interesting. And hello uh, to Olvin and Zibby Bite. Uh, I, I could actually believe that this is going to be pretty potent. Um, Carolina Reaper, I, you know, I've tried that on my uh, um, Ryu Scoville uh, playlist and things like that. And it, it doesn't kid around. That is no joke. And you can tell, um, just like with uh, Brian Amda's, is uh, there is a ton of seeds in there. You get a look at that. They they are not joking around. As I said, this is from uh, Jeff's Famous Beef Jerky. I ordered it from their website. Um, I've never tried it before. This is a brand new taste test. So, um, and then also, I, before I start this, because I want to build the suspense a little bit, um, I finally got another uh, bottle of the Black Mamba 6 hot sauce, the one that... Um, Solstice knows that I brought to Canada with me to uh, kind of uh, show off a little bit. And it's just as hot and just as enjoyable as I remember it being. So let's uh, clear our palate with uh, the most sophisticated of beverages. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, like I said, this isn't going to be a super long stream. I just kind of wanted to show this off and try it for myself. And... Again, this does look intimidating. Make no mistake about it. Um, if you've never had Carolina Reaper before, it, for those of you that don't know, it's considered on record to be the hottest uh, pepper, um, although um, they claim that the Apollo pepper is hotter. It's just not been officially rated, so I don't know. Um, but I have had a Pe Carolina Reaper, it, 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 in terms of taste, it tastes very... <laughs> I just read the chat. Uh, in terms of the taste, it tastes a lot like a red pepper. Um, so imagine a red pepper, but several dozen times hotter, and that's a Carolina Reaper. So give me a sec here. Um, yeah, uh, for the record, I, uh, I think it was... 2018 that I uh, try that I had uh, Solstice try the uh, um, Black Mamba Six, and uh, they just said in the chat that their tongue is still tingly. So nothing more to it, because it's extremely hot, and I have no reason to doubt that. Um, Let's give this a go here and see how this goes. It smells it smells like a red pepper beef jerky. Like in terms of just the smell of it, like if you've ever had a sweet and hot beef jerky at the store, that's what it smells. Oh yeah. Kobold or go home. Those are the two options, really. I mean, what else is there? Let's give this a... Let me get like a, get a small piece just to try it out. Ooh, I like the uh, the cuts of this. Um, 
It's very, it's very soft cut. Um, I like the texture already, and it smells very, very pleasant. Um, I tried out a uh, seed, and yeah, it's a reaper seed, all right. Um, ooh, we got some real flakes on that. Let's take a look at that. Well, I'll see you on the other side. That's springy. That's a springy texture. Um, oh yeah, that's got the kick to it. Oh yeah, that is definitely a reaper. Um, it's sweet. Um, but like not overpoweringly sweet. Like I said, if you've ever had a sweet and hot beef jerky, that's what it tastes like. Um, I liked how soft it was. Let's try that. Hmm. This is a tougher piece. Um. I'm trying to get a hint for it while I'm, uh, while I'm doing this so I'm able to give a more informed opinion on it. Um, I'm trying to decide, like, if you weren't a chili head, would you enjoy this? And I think for someone that isn't a chili head, it might just be a tiny bit out of reach. Um, I mean, we're not talking extract levels. Um, I think this is one of those things that if you don't enjoy spicy food, or, well, if you don't enjoy spicy food, you wouldn't try it. But if you don't have much experience with super spicy foods, you'd probably try a piece or two of it and be like, well, that's a thing I've experienced. And then immediately run to uh, get some uh, milk or something. Uh, but hang on. Careful. Funny how capsaicin works. It tricks your tongue into thinking it's on fire. That is accurate. That is actually very accurate. Um, to describe capsaicin, uh, we have these things called T receptors in our tongue, and uh, they determine what our tongue feels as temperature. And uh, what capsaicin does is it incorrectly triggers those T receptors. And what makes that interesting uh, is that birds do not feel uh, capsaicin burn. Like, um, only mammals and I think, like, reptiles, I don't know. But um, birds absolutely do not get any spice sensation for peppers. And the reason for that is because um, as peppers evolved, the, uh, like, birds um, would... Uh, eat the like swallow the seeds whole and then they would pass them elsewhere which helps for the germination of the peppers well mammals they would chew the seeds and uh, they um, obviously that made it so they wouldn't germinate as well which is probably why they had that defense mechanism the irony of course being that mammals ended up enjoying well, human mammals ended up enjoying them the spice so much that they uh, started raising peppers themselves. And, uh, you know, now peppers thrive more than ever because of their defense mechanism. So um, let's do some more of this jerky. Um, like, if they were more easy for me to obtain... I could I could definitely see this being like an occasional snacking jerky. The taste is fantastic, but then again, I'm easy to please when it comes to beef jerky. Um, it really is. It, it's got some kick to it. Like I said, they they do not skimp on the uh, on the heat level there. They got the flakes. They got the seeds. Um, like, yeah, that, 
I think that's one of those ones where if you don't know what you're getting into, you're like, mm, eh, it's a little bit spicy. And then you go for like three or four more pieces and you're like, oh my God, what did I do? Streaming. Um, yeah, that's... I could actually see myself ordering that again at some point because, uh, well, I'm a sucker for beef jerky. That's part of it. Ooh, this is a really dry piece, but, uh, um, yeah, that, that is very tasty. Um, the price was relatively decent, I think. It was like, mm, I'd have to look again. I think it was like, seven or eight dollars I don't remember for sure mm. I am not trying any hot sauces this anime north well, maybe I mean it might not be as bad I, I can do I can do one that's not as bad um, mint works in a similar although in the opposite way yeah that makes sense I didn't know that for sure but um, yeah, make no mistake about it. This is definitely a Reaper jerky. There is no mistake on that heat level. There is a, what I like about it, I think, is that it's mostly a mouth burn so far. Haven't really felt it on the back of my throat, which is usually when I do these spicy streams, that's usually where I kind of, uh, um, feel it because Anyone that's seen my Ryu Scoville series, uh, they tend to see that my first reaction when I do something spicy, specifically extract spicy, is I end up coughing because it hits the back of my throat really bad. Because this isn't like an extract, um, it doesn't hit my throat nearly as hard as uh, extract stuff does, but you feel the tongue burn on that. You feel it really potently. Um, they also have other jerkies there. Um, or I might give those a try because, you know, for variety's sake. And um, this is obviously, in on their website, they actually have a separate section. Like, like they have like this list of beef jerkies and then off into the bottom right corner, that's where they have this one listed just to like, I guess they're, I guess they're quarantining the other jerkies from the spice. Uh, this side doesn't have that much, uh, pepper on it, but. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Um. That is really potent. Um. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, um. After I try this. I'm also going to add like a small little mini review that was lost to time. So if you excuse me for one second, I will be right back. Um, there's one sec, guys. So again, this is a review that was sort of lost to time because uh, I don't remember. I think I didn't save the bot or whatever happened. But this is um, Black Mamba 6, one of the hottest hot sauces I have ever had in my life. And I'm only going to go a little bit small on it. But it's also one of my favorite hot sauces. I finally got a brand new bottle of this. It's from uh, Cajon's, Cajon's, I don't know. I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's really hot and it's really good. Um, in terms of heat, I think it has been superseded by The End and Hellfire Doom. But what I like about this hot sauce is that... Um, while it is an extract hot sauce, it's the only extract hot sauce I've ever had that doesn't taste like extract. I think the word you were searching for was cojones. Cojones, yeah. It means, it means balls. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not how it's spelled, but I believe it. 
Um, this is a very, very thick hot sauce, and it, it is three ingredients. Three ingredients. Chocolate habaneros, vinegar, capsaicin. Those are your ingredients. They don't dress it up. They don't play around. And I think that kind of, I'm doing just a tiny bit for this. Uh, I think that really works for a, um, a hot sauce like this. Um, I like using this in uh, pho and Asian dishes because, like I said, you don't taste... Okay, you feel extract, but you don't taste it. It tastes like peppers. And uh, man, it is potent. It is really, really strong. Um, <clears throat> the six is for six million Scoville. And they're not lying. There is a six million Scoville extract in it. And for a while, it was considered the hottest hot sauce. But like I said, it has since been uh, supplanted by other hot sauces I've had on this channel. So, um... <clears throat> If you want my favorite super hot pepper um, hot sauce, then you definitely want Black Mamba 6, but this is this is a brutal one. You, you don't want to go straight into this. Um, a small, tiny toothpick is what you want to be your sample of this. Don't do more than that until you really know what you're getting into. So, um, on that note, I think I'll finish this jerky and I'll wrap up the stream. It's a, like I said, it was a kind of a short and sweet one, but beef jerky is short and it's sweet. Mmm. That is hot. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, check out both uh Kajan's hot sauces as well as just famous beef jerky um and also uh subscribe to Brian Ams in, on YouTube uh we don't know each other but I like the work that he does so I'm going to wrap this up for now thank you all for watching and Oh yeah, and it does have a snake on it. Be good to each other out there. Um, I'll probably do some other streaming stuff, but for now I'm going to probably just do some gaming uh, by myself and maybe some artwork stuff. So I've got a lot of sketches done, uh, just so you guys know. I have a ton of sketches. Um, so I just have to get those digitized and sorted out. Anyway. Man, this has been a hot one.